it was amazing. I when when John Stevens, um, our executive producer, told me about that moment, we were shooting I think episode ten of season three, and I was like, oh my god, I was just in shock, and I couldn't really process it. What I was thinking the next week or so was, please don't change it, please don't change it, please don't change it, <laughs> um, and they didn't, and they they made it even better than what he than what he told me what was going to happen, and um, I was just so excited and. Um, another thing I was worried about was that we were going to get to season four and the writers were going to go, you know, I think we um, took it a little too far, too fast, um, let's backtrack. And that's the exact opposite happened. Our, the trajectory is just continuing in that direction. I would say, I would, I would know that it's accelerating in that direction and wow. um, it's not going to stop. Bruce really is taking on this um, vigilante um, persona and um, all the things that go along with that. That whether it be amazing. creating another persona, public persona, that's also definitely going to be a major part of Bruce's journey this year. Um, his relationships as this other person. Um, and um, it's Batman is coming. Oh, Absolutely. That is music. You, can you say that one more time? Batman is coming. TMI, bro. We don't need to know that. Guys, oh my gosh, that is so exciting. The tough part was, was finding a good Batman voice. Oh you, oh, you gotta find a Batman voice. What would, it, what would it, would you go Christian Bale or would you go Ben Affleck? Well, you'll see. What? Did he just say that we're freaking getting Batman in season four? I hope not because it's way too freaking early. In all seriousness, it does look like Bruce is going to keep taking those steps towards becoming Batman. And I think with what they did at the end of season three, it's only logical to keep going in that direction. They can't kind of just stall and just be like, oh shit, we, we, we went too far like the interview said they have to keep stepping forward now this is going to be I, i've said this in other videos i think season four is going to be the make or break season for gotham if this show is going to get canceled it's going to get canceled after season four but i think if they do start taking those steps in the right direction to him becoming batman it will be the reason why we get a season five and possibly a season six after that. And what I mean by that is I don't think anybody wants to see a 15, 16 year old Batman because we've never seen that before. We've seen, you know, Damian Wayne, we've seen Nightwing or, you know, every all of those characters as Robin. There's never been a 15 year old Batman, you know. But the one thing we do know, if you do read a lot of comic book history, is that Batman has trained since he was young, since his parents died, he has been in this mindset of like, I need to be something more. I need to be a protector of this city so none of this crazy stuff happens to my parents again. That is what we need to see from Bruce. And if you've watched the Batman animated series like I have multiple times, and you know, and I mean, this happens in a lot of the comic books too, especially if you read a bunch of different things. Even if you're not reading comic books, there are books about Bruce Wayne's training and stuff like that. You know that he has like trained for years. But when I refer to the Batman animated series, there's this one episode that is always in my mind because I just loved it. I, I loved it for two reasons. One, it showed me Batman's training on how he became like a super escape artist. And two, it had Zatanna because, well, you know. Zatanna. But seriously, we know in that episode that young Bruce is started getting his training from a magician and he learned to be this master escape artist, which was Zatanna's dad, which was awesome. So that, that it shows how he met Zatanna over the years and it just showed how he became this master escape artist and how he was able to escape anything because, you know, that's what magicians do. They do all these crazy tricks. They learn how to get out of boxes. You know, it's just all these like illusions and all that jazz. But I thought that was really awesome that he had that background and that is something I want to see in Gotham. And I think if they go that route, it will bring in a lot more audience because you saw what Smallville did before we got all of these superhero shows we have now. Smallville, although Superman had his superpowers, it showed us how he started controlling those powers and how he coped with those powers. And we got a little bit more of his origin throughout every season, of course, leading all the way to it. I think it went 10 seasons and he finally opened up his chest and he had the Superman logo. Uh, I think that's the way Gotham wants to go. And I think this is where we're finally going to start getting that. We've seen little bitty things happening over the last three seasons, but I think we're going to start getting a lot more in season four, and it's going to feel it's going to start to feel a lot more like Smallville if you guys like Smallville. I only got to season four of Smallville, but I know a lot of the stuff that happens, but I really enjoyed what I watched, and I was just like, oh man, this show still holds up. This is pretty awesome. If they are taking that direction, they can do so much with Batman, because don't forget, he is a normal human. Well, he's not a normal human because he's got this crazy mindset and he trains like a badass, but you know what I mean? He's still human. He doesn't have superpowers or anything like that. He's just super rich. 
Um, but, you know, he has his determination, and if we can just see all of the training that he can go through, not like two weeks or two episodes or whatever of him training in some freaking winter wonderland with some ninja guy. No, no, no. I'm talking about if we can see him start becoming more of a detective, more of a freaking escape artist, more of a chem lab guy because he does that shit too. Like, you know, all of those different things throughout different episodes, it would be really awesome. And that's what I think Gotham needs to do and just keep showing us that Batman progression. And now in the interview, it said he's going to get some kind of like vigilante, not maybe not mask. He's not going to put on the cow. I don't think. I hope not. But like David said in the interview, you know, they are going forward with Batman. Like Batman is coming to this show and he's going to do the vigilante thing. And he even said the hardest thing was finding a Batman voice. So we're going to see him actually do this vigilante stuff. I don't think he's going to be called Batman. It's just like a lot of the other characters out there that, uh, you know, aren't being called. I mean, they get called Penguin, they get called Riddler, but like for like Jerome's instance, he doesn't get called Joker, although he better be the Joker. We've talked about this a million times, but we can assume that he is going to be the Joker, but nobody is calling him that. Another thing he said in the interview besides, you know, Bruce taking on this persona of a vigilante, he's also going to be doing the more like playboy persona. He didn't necessarily say playboy persona, but he's going to have this Bruce Wayne persona which is very big from the comic books like Bruce Wayne is a player in the public eye like people just it's it's his diversion and if you've ever read Batman comics or you've ever like you know got into the philosophy of Batman it, it comes down to this thing that the real person like Bruce Wayne the mask is Bruce Wayne you know Bruce is really Batman like that is his real life the mask is actually Bruce Wayne because the person he wants to be is Batman, which I've always found fascinating about this character. But yeah, so this seems really awesome that we are going to get a little bit more Batman. But as, like I said, I think this is going to be the make or break season for this. They are they got to be very careful with what they're going to be doing with Batman because it just, you know, you can't go too fast. You can't go too fast because nobody wants a 15 or 16 year old Batman because it's just not going to look good. One, because David, you're growing up. You're still not there. You're still a scrawny dude. I don't need to see a really scrawny Batman trying to fight. Vigilante stuff, totally cool, but please don't ruin my image of Batman being a super badass. But I am hoping that Gotham is getting on the right track. I'm not going to lie. I am excited to see what's going to happen in season four. The end of season three, those last five minutes or whatever it was where they were kind of doing the narration over what's going to like, looks to be the future of Gotham, got me really excited. And just hearing that we're going to get more stuff about Batman. I read a tight, I haven't got to read the whole article yet, but apparently there was another headline saying that Catwoman is going to be doing the same thing. And also we saw in the last Last video where I told you that uh, Selena and Bruce are going to be working on top of a rooftop or something like that, or they're probably going to meet. That is probably going to be like the start of Catwoman, Batman kind of thing. We know that she's going to that progression. We saw at the end of season three that she's already getting her whip and stuff like that. Uh, if I can find more information on Catwoman or anything they say about her, I'll do a video on that. And there's some other Gotham news out there that I'm going to try to make videos for because if I'm not mistaken, they also, he did another interview talking about the villains and how characters are coming into like their persona still. And I kind of want to talk about that in a separate video. But yeah, guys, do let me know what you think about Batman coming to Gotham. Are you excited about it? Are you not? Uh, you know, I just wanted to hear what everybody thinks. Do you think it's too early? Do you want to see just the early stuff, just him being a detective? Let me know in those comment sections down below. Guys and gals, don't forget, if you ever want to support this channel, you can check out the Patreon like these awesome people did. Or the Justice League shirts are actually live right now at the Teespring story. So you can check that out. Link in the description for that. Or you can always do the OG thing and just give this video a like and share it with all of your Gotham buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. As always, I'm your host, Juicebox. Remember when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. Have I had my daily dose of juice? See you guys next time. <laughs>